everyone and welcome. Uh, this video um something I did not long ago about how I set up my wrestling collection. So I thought I'll do one about my Blu-rays as well. Or why not? I mean people have got them in different order like could have like act by the main actors or they could have like director order or alphabetical or series in alphabetical, then the movies in alphabetical or whatever. So I thought I'd come in and show how I have mine and we'll talk at the end like we did in the last one. So how I really have mine is on the top we have the steel books then going into Disney. On top we have like all the really box sets and everything. Things like that. So we have all them on there. Obviously I have Batman up there. And along these are all, all in, what I've done mine is all in alphabetical order, but when it comes to a series set, obviously there'll be a season 1, 2 and 3, then Doctor Who, we have them in order they were done, not in alphabetical. They're like, a bit like Fast and the Furious, like, they'll go in film order, 1 to 5. Rather than putting too fast, too furious up here, and it's all over the place. So that's how I basically do mine. You probably see it going along all alphabetical, but as it comes to a movie set, all of them go in order. That's how they were done. Like in, so I don't really like putting the same films by some like I say like the Fast and Furious scores I've had but this one will be different and some people put those together and I've not really thought about doing it like that so so all these like, Sherlock series are all as they were done I don't know some people are, are probably picky about how they have theirs but that's really how I do mine I prefer to have obviously all in box up there all here so you can put them in season order and put them all together but sometimes you really can't do that I prefer to have them like big bands I got that where I only got that because it was in like a uh, I think it was Black Friday I think I got that that one in and I'm obviously the past season 7 now I can't really remember what season they're on now but um, the same with Mission Impossible the five films. I think this cost twenty. I think it was, but when Rogue Nation came out, it was fifteen pound on its own for that. So it was an extra five for all of them, which I didn't really have. And I don't know if they're making any more, but I prefer to have them. If it's all one series together, all in one box. I prefer it like that. And obviously, Big Bang. If you buy them separate, you get the UV cords and everything. Which I don't know what I'm gonna do about Big Bang. Big Bear. <laughs> Big Bang Theory, even. <laughs> Um, Supernatural, obviously they're still going, um, obviously Doctor Who, I only got that cost, obviously the first weren't on Blu-ray but now they've released them singly so, but I had that about a year, year or two before they actually released them so I've just kind of carried on on there, but the thing with, with like Doctor Who, Supernatural, House, the X-Files, you can actually take them out of the boxes and put them on the shelf because they're all in cases, so it's not too bad if you can do it like that. But yeah guys, that is how I have my Blu-ray collection set out. I'm um, just wondering how you have yours. Um, comment and tell me or make a video and tweet us the video or message me the link and I'll watch it. And thanks for watching. And please like, subscribe, comment and I'll catch you in the next video. Right.